Hello, I'm Gillian from Moulton Designs and what I want to show you now is how to do patchwork in Friendly Plastic which is a little bit of a continuation from the video number two we did with joining because it does involve the joining technique. Now patchwork in Friendly Plastic, we've got some examples on the front of the table, is this sort of effect here. It's very, very nice for doing things like necklaces and uh, brooches with and you can either leave them as flat pieces or we can curve them and we can shape them as well to make them even more effective. Now, what you start with is cutting your strips of friendly plastic. Cut them with a pair of scissors and cut them different width strips and quite a few different colours, cutting as straight as you can. And the ones that are very, very good for patchwork, actually, are these uh, rainbow colours as well, because they're already striped for you. But you can make up your own colour combinations as well, which is what we're doing here. Now, as we did in the second video, we start off by joining the pieces together. And if you remember to do that, we actually heat the first piece. That's me coming in too close with the heat gun to start off. I could have put a little bit of double-sided tape under there if I wanted to, just to make sure it stayed in place. Now that's just making the plastic tacky enough so that when I come in with the second one, which of course I can handle because it's still cold, I can actually push it up to the friendly plastic and I can also pop one at the other side and it will hold both of them together. And then I would carry on with that, just heating to build the piece up. Now one of the things to remember is, don't try and do a mirror image. Use as many colours as you can, because we are going to be cutting and turning the pieces round. If you do a mirror image of colours, then you won't get a patchwork effect. Now to save a little time, of course, Blue Peter again, one we prepared earlier. The edges, unless you're 100% accurate, you're always going to end up with a wavy edge. Don't worry about it, just cut that so you've got two straight edges. And those pieces that you cut off, because you can reheat friendly plastic, these are actually the side pieces from when we did this one here. All I've done is just join them together and that would actually be quite nice just superimpose on another contrast colour. So you can, again, use all your scrap pieces. So now we'll cut down the strip, again, cut in different widths and just keep them as straight as you can. And then with the patchwork, all we do then is just turn the alternate strips the other way around and it helps if you do turn it the other way around that's I think do as I say not as I do and of course then all we need to do then is join them up exactly the same way again you can actually carry on as well I mean you can cut it again and turn it around again and make it almost like a tiny mosaic piece So, having softened the first one, pop the second one up to it. And because you've softened the whole piece, you can actually join onto both sides at the same time. Soften again. And then the final piece on. And then heat through again, just to make sure that the whole piece is fused together. I'll stop heating that now, but actually I would carry on and heat it a bit longer. And then when you've got your patchwork piece made, again, you'll probably end up with a little bit of an uneven edge. If you want it to be like that, obviously you can leave it like that. I do sometimes, or alternatively, you can just trim it down and then you've got your nice straight edge again. And that is very easily doing patchwork in friendly plastic, but it's very, very effective, and you can see from my brooch, it does make very nice jewellery pieces as well. That's it for this time. 
Uh, again, the website is www.theframeworkshop.co.uk. Don't forget to follow the link there to my blog and also the link onto the um, Facebook site as well. I nearly forgot the name then. We'll carry on again with more videos shortly. Thank you.